think they're ever going to stop being so violently bipolar? Well, it's hard to tell, but I'm inclined from the way the season's played out to say no. Okay, and then follow-up, do you think we're ever going to be smart enough not to live game by game? Oh, okay, well, no, that one's easy. Yeah, definitely not. We're stupid. I am Weston. I love talking about the Astros, and I'm here to talk about game 59, and also kind of 58, I'm sorry, by the way, of the regular season where the Astros get murdered by the Minnesota Twins in game one, and then do very, very well for themselves in game two of the series, and now have a chance to win the series tomorrow on a Sunday afternoon. And, folks, the Astros continue this march... For a while, it was a march down to the deepest depths of the basement, then it was back up to relevance, and now it is just the unending, winding road of mid. It's a fate worse than death, and for a person who makes videos after every single game, it's far worse than death. Because when they're great, it's easy to talk about them, and when they're terrible, it's even easier to talk about them. But when they're just there, it's incredibly difficult. Because, yeah, game one of the series, yesterday, they get slaughtered. It's very easy to just look at that and go, yep, that game sucked. Look at that. You had Blanco blow up, which is unusual, but we're not going to write... We're just going to write that off, because that doesn't usually happen, especially not this season. And then you have today, where Fromber, following a couple of just horrendous games, pitches a gem. Crazy what following the catcher's instructions will do for a man. It was great. You had Jordan, pair of home runs look great. Jose Abreu got a home run, which is fascinating. By the way, I understand the thought process behind it. Um, stop talking about how Jose Abreu's mere presence brought the Astros back down. That We're not having this conversation. That's just kind of a mean-spirited thing. If the struggles continue to the point on the field, that's a totally different conversation. But, like... People were talking about in some of the losses of like, ah, oh, yes, it's Abreu's fault when he had the only RBI of the game or scored a run in the game. Like, it's, we're, we're so beyond vibes being an issue. I, it's just an annoying thing to talk about. But he had a home run, which is kind of like seeing Bigfoot in person. It was a miracle. You would also have Kyle Tucker hitting his 19th home run of the season. God, he's making a lot of money this season. Then you get to the bullpen where Brian Abreu would pitch. Uh, not well, but he would pitch. And you had Josh Hader coming in in the ninth inning, locks it down, picks up a strikeout. Again, Josh Hader, slowly but surely, starting to become a good pitcher again, which is very much nice. Gotta look at the game logs. It's been a nice little stretch now for Josh Hader, where he actually looks like a respectable, usable pitcher out of the pen. Like, that's the closer they're paying $20 million for, which... Every time I say it, it does still hurt kind of a lot, but you know, it's getting easier to say it. Ultimately, the most difficult part about talking about the games right now is not just that they're so flippy floppy in the terms of win and loss column, but more so in the volatility of said wins and losses, where they will get absolutely slaughtered in a game just to follow that up with an incredibly dominating win where everything looks like it's a well-oiled machine, followed up by getting massacred by a playoff team, following that up with just kind of shutting down their entire offense for an afternoon. It is just, I have no idea. I understand that is the nature of baseball. When there's 162 games for something in the regular season, you're going to get a good bit of that. But right now they are one of the most volatile teams in the sport and probably the most volatile Astros team we have ever talked about. But they can be a little bit less volatile and just a little bit more consistent tomorrow if they can simply win the series. Game will start at 1.05 Eastern, noon 05 Central. The Astros are going to have Hunter Brown go to the mound, and the Twins are going to have Simeon Woods Richardson go to the mound. I'll be here afterwards to talk about it. Tomorrow's video will get its own video. Again, sorry about the very, very strange scheduling. Depending on what happens with the Rangers, in the waning minutes of this game, it could be a lot more consistent for the Astros, guys. Mmm, that video could be fun. But as for right now, that is all I have to say. So if you enjoyed the video, please consider to like and subscribe. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, Ghost Rose.